Hi, this is Sid Grovner, your Lake Chapala Information Guy, your host at www.chapalaclub.com. Today we have a short video about the Malacan at Lake Chapala, Mexico. As you can see, it's a very beautiful area. I'm going to do a pan now around the lake. And we'll walk along the Malacan here for a little while. The Mexican government has recently spent a lot of money in redoing the Malacan here in cooperation with the state government and the local governments. A short story, if you'll permit me, I remember when I first was contemplating coming to this area of Mexico about 17 years ago and a friend told me, oh, you don't want to go down there. That lake is drying up. Well, as you can see, the lake is a long way from drying up. As a matter of fact, uh, you can see the lighthouse at the end of the pier there. And many years ago, I could walk out about a quarter of a mile past the end of the, the lighthouse on dry land, or semi-dry land. It was smucky, of course. But uh, that was many years ago, and now the lake is, they'll tell us by about the end of October 2008 that the lake will actually be up to about 75% of capacity. And in currently, the city of Guadalajara does take water from us every day for their household uh, usage there. And, but they've, in the process of constructing a large dam uh, near Guadalajara that will uh, not take any water from this lake uh, and will be uh, their source of water for the, all of Guadalajara by about probably 10 years from now. It should be fully operational. So at that point, the lake will be uh, even have more of its resources to stay right here at the lake and not be shipped off to Guadalajara for their water use. In addition, the farmers upstream on the Lerma River are in the process of modernizing their irrigation fields so that they will not have to flood their fields anymore the old-fashioned way to irrigate, which will mean that they, they're, they won't need as much water and they won't have to take as much water from, from us. And that'll be very nice. It'll also help the pollution level in the lake substantially. Although the lake now is as clean as it's been in many, many years, the Mexican government recently pronounced the lake safe to swim in and safe to eat the fish from even. So, of course, most uh, North Americans are reluctant to eat the fish out of the lake even now because uh, they don't want to take a chance. The poor Mexican people, of course, will in fact eat the, the uh, fish from the lake because they're more thinking about feeding their, their belly today than, than potential cancer many years down the road. Well, this has been Sid Grovner, your Lake Chapala information guy, looking after your interests as an exclusive buyers only agent here at Lake Chapala, Ajic, Mexico. So be sure and check out www.chapalaclub.com for all the latest information about what's going on here at beautiful and affordable Lake Chapala, Mexico. Que la vaya bien.